Family, friends, and guests, welcome to the 308th Commencement Exercises of Bowling Green State University. Let the ceremony begin. commencement tradition is to begin and end each ceremony with Sounds of the Centennial, an original musical composition written by BGSU alumnus and newly promoted Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Nolan, Associate Director of the President's own United States Marine Band. This piece was commissioned to celebrate the centennial of Bowling Green State University. Please rise and join us in honoring our fall graduates led by the deans of the academic colleges in order of their founding at the university.
In keeping with the significance of this monumentous occasion, we ask today's attendees to observe several courtesies. To our audience and guests, please do not enter the commencement area or obstruct the movement of today's participants. A professional photographer will be taking pictures of our graduates. In honor of our graduates, please silence your cell phones. In addition, we ask our audience and guests to remain seated at the end of the ceremony for the recessional while the platform participants, faculty, staff, and our newest alumni recess. Once the graduates leave the seating area at the conclusion of our commencement exercise, you may join them at a reception at the front of the Stroh Center in Schmidhorst Heritage Hall. Upon leaving, you are invited to explore campus with your graduate. To our graduates, please follow the directions of the commencement marshals, ushers, and staff. Following the ceremony, you are invited to visit bgsu.edu forward slash commencement for a website that highlights today's commencement and your time at BGSU. Please join us in welcoming representatives of the faculty of Bowling Green State University. Please welcome the President's Platform Party, Board of Trustees Chair and Alumnus Drew Forehan, members of the Board of Trustees, Academic Deans and our Faculty Senate Representative, Provost and Senior Vice President Dr. Joe Whitehead, and the 12th President of Bowling Green State University and Alumnus Dr. Rodney Rogers. Please remain standing for the national anthem under the leadership of vocalist Samantha Stack Gonzalez, a graduate in the College of Musical Arts, who is accompanied by U.S. Air Force ROTC Detachment 620. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Oh, say can 
can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous flight or the realm parts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets recollect the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet away o'er the land of the free. Good evening. I am Catherine Poppy, Associate Teaching Professor in the College of Health and Human Services, and I have the honor of serving as University Marshal for today's ceremony. I want to thank Ms. Stack Gonzalez for her performance of our national anthem. Please be seated. It is my pleasure, on behalf of the faculty, to officially welcome you to the 308th commencement exercise of Bowling Green State University. This occasion offers an opportunity to come together as a community of learners to both celebrate and reflect upon our graduates' many accomplishments. For each graduate and for all of us, this is a significant day. It is now my pleasure to introduce the 12th president of Bowling Green State University, Dr. Rodney Rogers. Thank you, so much. Thank you Professor Poppy. So good evening, fall 23 graduates, their parents, their families, spouses, partners, friends, and special guests. Welcome to Bowling Green State University. So tonight, we are here to celebrate a very momentous occasion in the lives of 1,002 graduates. Now, before we begin, it is uh, my privilege, though, to um, recognize those who provide the leadership of Bowling Green State University. So first, allow me to introduce a platform party. And as I announce the names, uh, please stand and remain standing. And I would ask you to hold your applause until the end. Our Board of Trustees Chair and Alumnus, Drew Forehand. Trustee and Alumnus, Jeff Radbill. Trustee and Alumnus, Mizell Stewart. Graduate Student Trustee and Alumna, Michaela Russ. Joe Whitehead, Provost and Senior Vice President. Robin Miller, Faculty Senate Chair. And now I would like to introduce the deans of our academic colleges, some of whom have led their participating colleges into the ceremony. Jennifer Waldron, Dean of the Graduate College. Don Chenu, Dean of the College of Education and Human Development. Ellen Schindel, Dean of the College of Arts and Science. Jennifer per Percival, Dean of the Allen W. and Carol M. Schmidhorst College of Business. Jim Cisla, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. Bill Mathis, Dean of the College of Musical Arts. Kendall Harris, Interim Dean of the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. Ram Verapanini, Interim Dean of Firelands College, 
and Simon Morgan Russell, Dean of the Honors College, and finally, Sarah Bushong, Dean of the University Libraries and their Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs. Would you please join me in a round of applause for these individuals? Thank you. Did I get everybody? So, um, you know, uh, great universities are comprised of great faculty. Great faculty and staff support our students and make this university what it is. They are absolutely at the heart of our academic mission. Their teaching skills, their research, their creative activities, their academic expertise, their involvement in each of your education, they are the hallmarks of a Bowling Green experience. And so I would ask our faculty that are with us tonight, representing all of our faculty, if you would please stand and be recognized, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. So, as we begin our ceremony, I thought it might be interesting to share a few statistics and facts about the fall 2023 graduates. And so, here's my report. So, I'm pleased to report that our graduates and their classmates spent a great deal of time studying and doing re research at the library. I have been told that you downloaded 2,862,731 research articles, and that there were 144,238 visits to the Learning Commons. Now, we tried to calculate uh, the number of Zoom or Microsoft Teams meetings. You know, we really did. We tried to do that. Uh, we kind of gave up. Uh, however, the chief information officer has tells me that you consumed 325, 987 thousands of terabytes of data on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Pretty impressive. I wonder how many of that was watching Netflix or Hulu or Disney. No, 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 no. It was Canvas. I am sure it was Canvas. All right. Now, studying takes a lot of fuel. And BGSU Dining tells me that our graduates ate a lot. Um, over the last four years, our students consumed 285,643 pizzas, and the Starship robots have had 381,470 deliveries. Now, I understand one of you, someone in this room tonight, uh, one member of this class actually had 1,686 deliveries while they were at Bowling Green. Very impressive. Thank you very much from BGSU Dining. <laughs> so, you know, we're celebrating uh, the accomplishments of a great group of graduates this weekend. And as a public university for the public good, uh, you have already created public good by recognizing the importance of paying it forward. And you have done that while you've been here. You've been involved in student life and in our signature co-curricular activities. In fact, you average 94,701 hours of community service hours each year over your four years here. And in this past year alone, our students have raised more than a half a million dollars to support nonprofit organizations. That's pretty impressive. You're paying it forward. You know, the value of this Bowling Green degree that you're about to receive has never been higher. We continue to be ranked as a tier one university by US News and World Report. And according to the Wall Street Journal, for the fourth year in a row, our students overwhelmingly said they would choose their university, our university, this university, you would choose it again, ranking us as the number one public university in the Midwest, tied for one of the one top in the nation. Thank you for that vote of confidence. But I will tell you that in that same ranking, the Wall Street Journal has also recognized something each of us already knows. The experience at Bowling Green is unparalleled. They ranked us as the number one university in Ohio, public or private, big or small, for the student experience. 
And our experiences are meaningful and bold, both inside and outside the classroom. Our students truly have world-class opportunities and are empowered to do good. And I hope that's much more than just words it's a, it's a, or a tagline. It is our mantra. It is absolutely our promise. And this graduating class embodies that promise. You know, as I mentioned, in total, there were 1,002 degrees we are awarding today and tomorrow. 16% of our graduates are students of color. 63% are women. There are 77 international students representing 26 countries across the globe. We have an 18-year-old receiving an undergraduate degree, and we have a 71-year-old receiving a bachelor's degree. We have a 27-year-old receiving a doctoral degree, and a 62-year-old receiving a master's degree. So, as you can see, so as you can see, our graduates include both the young and the young at heart. You are diverse. You come from small towns, suburbs, big cities. You are from different parts of Ohio, the United States, and from all over the world. Some of you have completed your degree completely online, and I know this may be the first time you are physically on this campus and you're meeting your classmates for the very first time. However, all of you have one thing in common. That one thing in common, you have found the university where you could belong. You found your place at Bowling Green. So in the classrooms or in the laboratories, in the residence life, in clubs and student organizations, in Greek life or on the athletic fields or teaching our students for our graduate students, you have made Bowling Green your community and your home. And you know, graduate students, you have absolutely found your place here as well. You've worked with faculty and mentors. You've conducted original research, created and taught and guided our undergraduate students. You have contributed greatly to the success of this institution. And so, in recognition of your many accomplishments, I'd like to ask a number of students to, be, to, to stand and be recognized. So many of you have grown through experiential learning and co-curricular involvement. And so I ask if you have studied abroad, participated in a learning community, completed an internship or co-op, got involved in service learning, conducted research, taken part in an opportunity that's provided you leadership experiences, such as maybe a student organization, an honorary, advisory, athletics, or club sports, residence education, student government, teaching, research assistantships. If you've been involved in any of those, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. That is the power of the Bowling Green education, and that is why we were ranked number one in the state and top five in the nation. So finally, uh, I would also like to recognize the heroic service of our United States veterans, active and ROTC members of the armed forces who are graduating today. Would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you, and thank you for your service. So earning your degree today places you in a very select group of people. So less than 7% of the world's population, less than 7% of the world's population has a bachelor's degree or higher. So now you have clearly earned it, but with your degree comes immense responsibility. You see, not only have you invested in your education, not only has your family invested in your education, but by attending a public university, the citizens, residents, and taxpayers of the state of Ohio and the nation have invested in you. 
So why? You might ask, why have they invested in you? Why have they supported public higher ed that supports you? Well, we know, on average, history would tell us, the data would tell us, on average, college graduates earn more money over the lifetime of their careers. Now, there are all sorts of studies that also show that college graduates are happier, they're more adaptable in the workplace, and in life. And in fact, on average, college graduates earn, and, or I should say, live longer. You live longer. All of those are great benefits. They're personal benefits of having a college degree. And it's good for society, right? But I also would add, with this degree, with this Bowling Green degree, comes a responsibility to contribute to the greater good. Not only in being successful in your career and in life, but by contributing intentionally to those communities that you will soon be a part of, those new communities that you will be going out and being a part of. We share this world with one another and you will make it better. You know, and it starts with voting. Engage with democracy. I challenge you that, that vote, but also be active in your communities. Get involved, volunteer, and if you're able, financially give. Uh, maybe even give to Bowling Green, but uh, I won't ask you that right now, okay? But, but be involved, be engaged. Make a difference with your talent, with your time. Be generous with how you create good. You have an immense responsibility. And honestly, we are counting on you. We are counting on you. Now, I also know that none of us, not one of us, have gotten to where we are without the support of others. And for our graduates, I'm sure a lot of people have helped you during your time here at Bowling Green. So in the spirit of our 1987 commencement speaker, Mr. Fred Rogers, yes, Mr. Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers. Now many of you may never have heard of Mr. Rogers. There are some folks in the audience that I, I am sure have heard of Mr. Rogers. But when he was here in 1987, he asked that we just take, just take 10 seconds of your time right now, 10 seconds right now, to think about all the people who have helped you get to this point. 10 seconds. I'll keep track of the time. Thank you. Now, I could imagine the people you thought about who made a difference in your life uh, are important people to you. And uh, I am sure some of them may be with you today. They may be somewhere in this audience. And so it is my pleasure to honor them. So I'm asking with the parents, spouses, partners, children, grandparents, family members, friends, or anyone else who has helped any one of these students be successful, would you please stand and be recognized? And make sure you do that throughout your life. Thank those who are making a difference in your life, all right? So, in closing, and before I invite the Provost and Senior Vice President, Dr. Joe Whitehead, to the podium to recommend our candidates for degrees, if you would allow me to speak directly to our graduates, a few more seconds. And here's, here's what I would like to say to our graduates. You will soon be graduates of Bowling Green. And we absolutely want you to go out, reinforce, and create public good. You know, and of course, it, it all starts individually with each one of us in, in how we live our life and how we interact with others. It starts with each of us. So if you will allow me 
just three things I ask you to remember. First, I hope you will always remain curious. Remain curious. Uh, Reinhold Niebuhr, uh, who was a, a German philosopher in the 1930s, wrote, um, I love this quote, because sometimes we humans vilify the people we disagree with, and sometimes we have an exaggerated confidence in our own virtue. So sometimes we vilify those people that we think we disagree with, and then we sometimes kind of have a, a little bit exaggerated confidence in our own virtue. The important is, the importance is, is to remain curious and, and ask questions before you judge others or judge situations. Ask questions. Even one of the greatest philosophers of our time agrees. And of course, I'm talking about Ted Lasso. Um, remember the dart scene? Right, you remember that, right? Be curious, not judgmental. So push yourself to understand opposing views before you make your judgments. Curiosity. In short, never, ever, ever stop learning. Doesn't stop here. Keep learning. So be curious. That's one. Two, I ask that you remain bold and that you take action. I hope you never shy away from messy challenges. The world needs more problem solvers and doers. Remember, it's not the sound of the flock, but the movement that causes the flock to take flight. So it's not the sound, it's not a bunch of talk, it's doing, it's, it's the movement that causes that flock to take flight. Talk is cheap. Be bold, take action. So be curious, be bold. And finally, I ask that you always be kind. The world needs more kindness. So you, you, if you're curious, if you're bold, and if you're kind, if you do these things, you will absolutely do well but you will also do good. Congratulations, graduates of Bowling Green State University. Thank you, President Rogers. As provost and chief academic officer of Bowling Green State University, I have the honor to recommend our graduates for their degrees. Today, our doctoral candidates were escorted by their faculty mentors and advisors and were hooded at a special ceremony to personally celebrate their degree accomplishments. Some of them are also here this evening. I now call upon the Dean of the Grad College, Dr. Jennifer Waldrum, to present the doctoral and master's candidates. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the Graduate College and the academic degree granting colleges, I am pleased and honored to present our doctoral and master's candidates and recommend them for their degrees. Jamie Ann Beringer. <laughs> Travis Hine. Laura Marie Obloy. Eugenia Ama Paranan, author. Savar Amach Rabamov. Christine Alexandra Bolton. Teresa Lee. Emma Diane Durfee. Elisa Ray Graham. Sisa Say Palapu. 
Varun Kumar Palatote. Manisha Muth Thruv. Nikara Muliti. Meg Raz Kada. Hazaka Bala. Pinvila Chepkomoy. Adam Ray Koger. Sine Manga. Kyle Daniel Edmond. Virginia Basie. Spencer Martin Young. Sunday Olaba Asamaka. Ulusala Emmanuel Wumi. Samantha Mackenzie Dayerit. Wolfgang Embersoul. Lindsay Bree Boozer. Caitlin Elizabeth Osborne. Dylan John Dresdick. Abazez Amasur. Eli Koff Avexin. Zachary Matthew Hayes. Russell Tyler Martin. Danielle Daniel Sasu. Catherine Elizabeth Ford. James Michael Miller. Nicole Suzette Meadows Hale. Allison Raquel Kepling. Jordan C. Johnson. Desiree Marie Thomas. Nicole Leanne Faye Wolf. Andrew Richard Angelone. Kendi Victor Bagababe. Mondasal Daywood. Petra Indrova. Cameron Destin Stewart. Gina Catherine Norden. Garrett A. Riggins. Lucas Lombardo. Alvin Corey McDaniel. Alex Marie Vuku. Caleb S. Roberson. Frederick June Campbell IV. Edward Bowditch Town. David Lawrence Henderson. Jared S. Freeman. Alexandria Diane Ward. Christina Eigel. Jeffrey Lynn Bivens, Jr. Heather Rudder Bubberick. Jared Lee Wagner. Stephanie A. Flores. Leah Free Star Hudson. Stephen Tyrone Thomas, Sr. Tessa Siobhan Scott. Cameron Miles Davidson. Ryan J. Ackerman. Hayden Michael Lowe. Godfrey Sidney Lewis. Shawnee Jamil Mixon. Christina Renee Muntz. 
Tiffany C. Portes. Lisa Wiggins. Kendra Kamalau Little Smith. Amy Kiran Adamskin. Cynthia Ellen Marley. Dr. Charlotte Bloomfield Perlake. Brandy Schultz. Marcia May Brady. Alexis L. Anani. Shelby Lynn Sauce. Stacy Martha Lopez. Christopher Eric Darnell Benson. Jasmine Sanchez. Taylor D. Newroar. Amy Susan Renkel. Amanda Maris Seiler. Alicia Page O'Neill. Holly Marie Jaycox. Tiffany Lynn Klinger. Megan Elizabeth Stevens. Brett Harvard Kern. Kimberly Ann Banks. Liliana Marie Berg. Precious R. Jackson. Jennifer Michelle Thayer. McKenna Ann Coyle. Emily F. Patty. Jamie Lynn Bojenschutz. Brianne Plinsky. Jessica Ann McRoberts. Casey Lee Patton. Christina Michelle Houston. Allison June Bopiri. Latasha Nicole Anderson Caldwell. Yolanda Lauderdale. Jacqueline Diane Pallard. Caitlin Teresa Fertile. Catherine Vieira Cowden. Margaret E. Hewling. Callie Nicole Bear. Shelby Shuday. Emily Rebecca Borgowski. Chelsea Eileen Lord. Amanda M. Valdez. Jonathan Andrew Ray. Bailey McKenna DeFazo. Brianna Nicole Gallup. Alexandra Ray Galen. Mackenzie Elaine Hoffman. Madeline Ray Phillips. Katie Lynn Argast. Holly K. Cipriani. Austin Joseph Pendler. Brianna K. Miller. Susanna Lawn Cunningham. Susanna's diploma is being presented to her by her uncle, Tom Gorman, Assistant Dean in the College of Health and Human Services. <laughs> Kalita Hicks West. Riley Joe Miller. Kaylee Ann Perry. Rajan N. Williams. Samantha Elizabeth Orcutt. Emily M. Roman. Alicia Nicole Kuba. 
Claire Elizabeth Weber. Hannah R. Cook. Emma Marie Montgomery. Emily Marie Schmitsch. Amy Nicole Cleland. Morgan Jeanette Kern. Raven Mackenzie Day. Richard Michael Peeper. Dennis Alexander Sela. Nicholas Brogan Culver. Yingi Wang. Shandanda Yervana Lashmat Reddy. Likatha Dafara. Lauren Elise Dunger. Michael Kewarn. David Osipime Okebe. Ula Reme Ardabola Lawal. Lucy Joseph Amaran. Ivy Imbu Atasawi the Fourth. Ulawafaza Ruth Oyitini. Sirah Ray. Shindo Joseph Isa. Osivio Dirisu. Danielle Megan Thomas. Mohammed Arfur Rahman. This concludes the recognition of the doctoral candidates and the masters. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean Waldrum. Before I call upon the deans to, pre to present our undergraduate candidates, I would like to recognize those students who have excelled in their academic endeavors and are graduating with academic distinction and honors. This is indeed a great achievement for these graduates and their families. Bowling Green State University congratulates you for your commitment and for your success. And also, I recognize the following students. There are 276 students receiving degrees with Latin honors this commencement at Bowling Green. To graduate cum laude, a student must have a cumulative grade point average of at least 3.5. Would those graduating with the distinction of cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you. To graduate magna cum laude, a student must have a grade point average of 3.75. Would those graduating with the distinction of magna cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you. And finally, to graduate with the distinction of summa cum laude requires a 3.9 grade point average. Would those graduating with the distinction of summa cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you, and congratulations. Bowling Green is proud to recognize graduates who complete their entire collegiate academic experience with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. A select group of 29 students have received this honor or are wearing it, and are wearing a special medallion, an orange graduation cap, in recognition of this award. Would those graduating with the distinction of, of the President's Award please stand and be recognized? Thank you. 
Thank you, and congratulations. It is, my, it is now my pleasure to introduce the Dean of the Honors College, Dr. Simon Morgan Russell, to share a few comments. Thank you, Provost Whitehead. I am pleased to recognize the outstanding achievement of our students who have been honored through Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Kappa Phi, and who are in the Honors College. Phi Beta Kappa and Phi Kappa Phi are each one of the world's leading academic honors societies. Only about 10% of higher education institutions in the world have Phi Beta Kappa and Phi Kappa Phi chapters, and Bowling Green State University is proud to be one such institution. In addition, we have 11 students from our Honors College who are graduating this weekend. The University Honors Program was established in 1978, and it was designated as the Honors College in 2013. This community of scholars completes designated coursework and an honors project, which includes independent research. These students must maintain a 3.5 grade point average or higher in all of their coursework. They are wearing the honors medallion, a symbol of their academic success. Would our Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Kappa Phi, and Honors College candidates please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Please be seated. Before we present our candidates for undergraduate degrees, I asked our graduates to think of your journey at BGSU. From your acceptance to the last final exam or project, you've experienced much during your time here. Earlier, President Rogers mentioned BGSU is ranked the number one university in Ohio for student experience by the Wall Street Journal. You have embraced all BG has to offer and you have made it your own. What exactly does that student experience look like at BGSU? Let's watch. BGSU was founded in 1910 as a normal school, focusing on teaching and education. More than 113 years later, we have significantly grown to nine academic colleges. To honor where we began, we will present our undergraduate candidates by the order in which our colleges were formed. I now call upon Dean Jim Ciesla to present the candidates for baccalaureate degrees from the College of Health and Human Services. Good evening, I'm Jim Ciesla and I'm proud to serve as the Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. 
President Rogers, and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Health and Human Services, I'm pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Morgan Elizabeth Perkins, summa cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Snoke, magna cum laude. Marai Cree Simmons. Maya Grace Shoviak. Jasmine Olivia Alejo. Jayana Danielle Johnson. Yaren Kai Mercer. Taylor Elizabeth Kaminsky. Michaela Elaine Mayberry, cum laude. Chloe Neve Beckett, cum laude. Brian Andrew Rossman, cum laude. Kerrigan May Stark, cum laude. Dylan Joshua Markley, cum laude. Kenton James Purvis. Zachary Brian Graham. Bailey John Carter. Riley Scott Rivard. Jacob Carl McKee. Aaron Lee Sanchez, cum laude. Allison Nicole Acevedo. Christopher R. Miller. Daniel Thomas Eskins. Erica Anaya Troop. Jonathan Robert Kutz, summa cum laude. Elena Grace Fetters, magna cum laude. Brooke Allison Howell, magna cum laude. Sydney Marie Kuhlman, cum laude. Madison Nicole Mignani, summa cum laude. Cassidy Ann Crockett, summa cum laude, University Honors, and a President's Award recipient. Lauren E. Deutschmann, summa cum laude, University Honors, and a President's Award recipient. Sarah E. Swager, magna cum laude. Amy Nicole Katara, summa cum laude. Emily Apgar. Madison Leigh Alford. Leah G. Davis, cum laude. Alexandra Kelly Gosser, magna cum laude. Ashlyn Marie Legg, summa cum laude and a President's Award recipient. Ze Hoon Ho. Madeline K. Gibbons, magna cum laude. Madison Elaine Crawl, summa cum laude. Madison Elizabeth Pouche, magna cum laude. Aidan Thomas Bolton, magna cum laude. Jennifer May Cawthorn. Chelsea Lynn Depinet. Grace Warren Kennedy, summa cum laude, and a President's Award recipient. Elena Marie Henry, magna cum laude. Olivia Jules DeVore, cum laude. Olivia Grace Colette, magna cum laude. Caitlin Ann Salmon, cum laude. Adeline Bell Honeycutt, 
cum laude. Zoe Alexis Treyer. Taylor A. Terrence. Rihanna Lynn Johnson. Jasmine Renee Ellison. Easton Huffman. Jasmine Esperanza McNett. Chloe Dana Alexa English. Reagan Lene Smith. Anna Schunk, cum laude. Isabella Lee Ann Garrett. Ayana Mackenzie Lee Banks, cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Dews, cum laude. This concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the College of Health and Human Services. Good evening, I'm Bill Mathis, Dean of the College of Musical Arts. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Musical Arts, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Samantha Stack. Kara Elizabeth Abraham, cum laude. Zoe Michelle Scott, summa cum laude. Jacqueline Swartz, cum laude. Hannah Marjorie Wren, cum laude. Colin Jacob Huxtetler, summa cum laude. Dante Forrest Tanner. Abigail Lindsay McClintock. Charles Joseph Nicole, cum laude, and Freddie and Frida Falcon. This concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the College of Musical Arts. Good evening, I'm Kendall Harris, interim dean of the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. President Rogers, Board of uh, Trustees members, on the behalf of the faculty and staff of the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for their respected degrees. Nicholas James Leggett. Matthew Logan Fortner, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Lynn Evans. Leticia Jill Hoffman. Courtney York. Jasmine Lene Adkins. Tyler, Tyler Catherine Simone Thomas. Catherine J. New, magna cum laude. Dylan Michael Skinner. Robert Alexander Lee. Kaylin Riley Grant, summa cum laude and a President's Award recipient. Devin William Cross, cum laude. Jordan Tyrese Mobley. Benjamin Matthew Halsey. Jaden Hunter Elliott. Miles McFarland. Lucas Adam Turner. Lauren Elizabeth Conley. Kendall G. Coburna. 
Destiny Monique Kimball. <laughs> Timothy A. Putnam, Jr. Drake William Harlett. Ian Bailey Lowe. Stephen M. Rodriguez. Freddie and Frida Falcon. Jalen Autumn Spitnail, magna cum laude. Renata A. Kaiser. Lainey Jennifer Hamilgarn, cum laude. Shania Nicole Hamilton. Shane D. Nartker. Jacob Richard Hicks. Joseph William Gaze, cum laude. Tyler Christopher Haas. Brock Aaron Horn, magna cum laude. Hunter Alexander Fleck. Devin Michael Taylor. Jeffrey Allen Flory, summa cum laude. Anthony D. Seedon, cum laude. Nina Elizabeth Tylocki, summa cum laude. Maggie Grace Mulholland, cum laude. Kyle Timothy Maher, cum laude. Corrine Christine Zolweg. Nicholas Dane Senta. Nolan H. Marcelino. Seth Alexander Curl, magna cum laude. Matthew Scott Davis. Duke Vu, magna cum laude. Anthony O'Neill Lohr. Catherine Ruth Lohr. Kemery Georgianji Eichley, magna cum laude. Colin Mark Harris, summa cum laude. Zachary William Baker. Sebastian Robledo. Aidan Stewart Barton, magna cum laude. Nathan Joseph Fortcamp. Elijah Jacob Stamen, cum laude. Jeffrey S. Eberly. Anthony Taylor Leverich, summa cum laude. Mason Manns. Zachary L. Zorodnik. Brendan Scott Cooper, magna cum laude. Ethan Thomas Saluski. Bernardo Guimares, magna cum laude. Addison Grace Bonnell. Adelai Marie Colon. Matthew Ryan Mitchell. Anthony D. Khalil, Jr. Jacob Lloyd Hardiman. Alassane Diallo. Drew Evan Yuhas. Chase Avery Williams. This concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ram Veerapaneni, and I'm proud to serve as the interim dean of Firelands College. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of Firelands, I'm pleased and honored to present these candidates 
and recommend them for degrees. Anastasia Britt, with distinction. Kendall M. McKillips. Logan Patrick St. Clair. Treg Thomas Smith. Miranda Renee Angelone, with distinction. Cassandra Lynn Garcia. Matthew Stone Rupp, summa cum laude. Shaughnessy Lynn Armstrong. Anora Kalia Nicole Aaron. This concludes the recognition of the bachelor's and associate's candidates for Firelands College. Thank you, Dr. Dean Veripernini. Will all the degree candidates please rise? <laughs> Chair Forehand, it is my privilege to present these candidates to you. On behalf of their faculty, advisors, and deans, I hereby recommend that the degrees be conferred upon them as indicated in the official program. Thank you, Provost Whitehead. On the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me as the chair of the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degree as listed in the official program with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Doctoral and master's degree graduates, congratulations. Baccalaureate and associate degree graduates, this is the appropriate moment for the symbolic change of the tassel from right to left. <laughs> to our newest alumni, let me be the first to welcome you to one of the most valuable perks, a supportive network of more than 195,000 alumni around the globe. I hope all of you have, the, have had the type of experience that will empower you to tell the BG story as you begin your next journey. Welcome to the Alumni Association of Bowling Green State University. And now, for the first time as alumni of Bowling Green State University, please stand and join me in singing of our alma mater, performed by the, men's, the members of the men's chorus. The words may be found on page 35 of your program and on the screen behind me.
Alumni, please be seated, and President Rogers will now make final remarks. After the President's closing remarks, we ask our audience and guests to remain seated for the recessional while the platform participants, faculty, staff, and our newest alumni recess. So thank you, Chair Forehand. So graduates, tonight, tonight is the pinnacle of your academic journey at Bowling Green. And so as you enter this next step, this next journey in your life, I am sure there will be some obstacles which uh, may impede your plans in your life. Um, you know, for thousands of years, humans have faced all sorts of obstacles in our lives, right? And in fact, in 170 AD, Marcus Aurelius, I love this quote, I have it on my desk, there is no impeding our intentions. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. It begins with action, and you have absolutely taken action. You have found a way. You are clearly prepared to do amazing things in this next phase of your journey, perhaps more so than many of the past graduates, because during this journey here at Bowling Green, you have had to adapt, persevere. You've overcome all sorts of obstacles to earn this degree. You have been tested. You've found a way forward, and you are absolutely ready for whatever is next. And so as we close our 308th commencement exercise, please remember that Bowling Green will always be one of your homes. And each of you will be forever welcome here as part of the Falcon family. And so I ask you, I ask you to stay engaged. Stay engaged with both your classmates and the university you have enriched. A university that is far better because you chose to be here. On these occasions, I'm reminded of a quote from Bowling Green's fourth president, Dr. Ralph McDonald. It's inscribed on the stonework of the Bowen Thompson Student Union. It reads, we are linked to this institution by invisible bonds that do not wither or dissolve. We are linked to this institution by invisible bonds that do not wither or dissolve. You see, your success is our success, and our success is your success. We are forever linked to this institution. And so, as I look out to each of you, our newest alumni, I and our faculty and our staff look at you and we see the next generation the next generation of thought leaders, of risk takers, of visionaries, and I hope big dreamers. You are graduates of a public university ready to create public good by making a difference in your career, in your family, in your alma mater, in your community, in the nation, and in the world. That is what you do. That is what you are prepared to do. That is who we are. You are entering the next chapter of your life, and this next chapter, it is yours to write. We cannot wait to see what you accomplish next. It will be nothing less than extraordinary. I, Ziggy Zumba.
Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? So let the lonely feeling wash away Cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel strong enough to stand You can reach, reach out your hand And Crashing through when you need a friend to carry you.